Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You remain our King forever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Give him all glory. To give him all glory. Are you Lord God? Give him all adoration, all thanksgiving, all praise, all dominion, all majesty. Belong to our God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Worthy be your holy name. Worthy is our Lord. I appreciate him this moment in time. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. Worthy is our God. Worthy is our Lord. The King of glory, the ancient of days, the God in whose name all things are possible. We give him all glory tonight. We give him all honor tonight. Whatever place you are, join the lips, your lips with the lips of the angels and saints. Begin to glorify him tonight. Begin to give him all honor tonight. Let us unite with the praises, with the adoration in the heavenly thrones, in the heavenly places, in the words of Revelation chapter 4, verse 8. There we see even the angels of God, they are lifting their, their voices and crying out and showering unto the Lord, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. The Bible says that day in and day out, they keep praising him. They keep saying non-stop, eternally, they keep saying holy. Holy, holy is the Lord Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come. My dear friends in Christ, that God, the God of the angels, the God of heaven and earth, that is our God. It is in his name that we have gathered tonight. Let us give him glory, give him honor. Revelation chapter 4 verse 9 says that where, wherever the living creatures are, let them give him honor. Let them give him glory. Let them give him all majesty, all adoration, all thanksgiving to our God who is worthy of our worship. Bless him tonight. Bless him tonight. Bless him tonight. He's the one who seated on the thrones, who is ever to be honored. Glorify him tonight. Oh, Jesus, you are the God who lives forever. We have come to you. We're not even worthy to come to your presence. Yet you have opened the door of eternity that we may come to you and have life, eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. We are joining even the 24 elders in heaven to adore you this night. May our prayers be one with theirs. May our prayers be one with the communion of the angels and saints, with the worship of angels and saints tonight. Let the incense of our prayer rise to the throne of God this holy night in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, whatever place you are, bow down before him tonight. Bow down before him tonight. We are bowing down in line with the Revelation chapter 4, verse 10. For there we see that the 24 elders in heaven, they all cast down their golden crowns and bow before our great God. Ha, ah, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Let us bow before him. Let us worship him, him who is seated on the throne. There is no one that's like him. Let us worship him tonight in the name of Jesus. Are you giving him honor tonight? Are you casting down your crowns to him tonight? Ha, ah, Jesus, let us join the angels and say tonight to declare that our God is worthy. He is worthy to receive honor. He is worthy to receive glory and power and dominion and majesty. For you created all things and by his will, all things were created. Oh, Jesus, and all have their being because of our great God. Will uh, glorify him tonight. Father, to you tonight be all glory. And we are uniting ourselves with that word of God in Acts chapter 17, verse 28, that in him we live, we move, and we have our being. And so, Father, tonight we want to dwell in you. We want to hear the gospel, the, your own word in you. We want to have our movements in you. Let all our thoughts, our actions be in you so that you, O oh Lord, shall take all glory tonight in the name of Jesus. Purify our thoughts, purify our worship that by the power of your blood, 
all shall bring glory to your name tonight in the name of jesus we pray with thanksgiving amen and amen and amen thank you jesus thank you lord my dear friends in christ what a wonderful night it is my pleasure to welcome every one of us to the heart of jesus and mary ministries and this day the holy god of heaven and earth our glorious father wants to talk to us mightily from matthew chapter number 15 verse 21 to 28 i'm going to be reading from the new revised standard version and before we do that may i use the opportunity to remind us to do the needful to invite your friends to the message so that together we shall be able to uh worship him let us bring our wood uh, into the fire so that there shall be more fire and then you know the bible tells us that um where where there is no wood the fire goes out but we know that this night there are woods you carry your wood i carry my own wood and when we put the woods together indeed we are going to have an aggravated fire a heated fire we're going to form a divine um a fire tonight you know a, a an eternal um oven you know may the lord be glorified even as we have come tonight to be fed by his word for his word is fire the oven of eternity that is the word of god may that word of god that we're about to hear tonight sanctify our thoughts sanctify our minds in the name of jesus we pray with thanksgiving amen and please do not forget to go to the comment section and um, let the world know where you stand in the word of god declare you know the message as yours and uh, god will bless all of us tonight so tonight we take quick, just a quick reading from matthew chapter number 15 verse 21 to 28 and um, i'm going to be reading from the new revised standard version catholic edition praise the lord jesus left that place and went away to the district of tyre and sidon just then a canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting have mercy on me lord jesus son of david my daughter is tormented by a demon but he did not answer her at all and all his disciples came and urged him saying send her away but she kept and they kept crying out and shouting after us. He answered and said, I was sent out to the lordship of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt down before him saying, Lord, help me. He answered, it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. And she said, yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was instantly healed. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise and thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Father, we thank you for this word tonight. Thank you because your word is life. We thank you because even as we have come from the north, south, east, and west to come and uh, listen to your word, we know that there is no other life outside your word. Your word is life. Your word gives eternal life. Father, we thank you because the word we have come to hear is not the word of man. In the west of 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5, St. Paul says that I have not come to you with mere words, but word that is loaded with the power, with the Holy Spirit, and with the conviction. Father, tonight, let these three part components of your word manifest this night, that we shall be able to experience your power. We shall be able to experience the presence of, you, of the Holy Spirit who authored the word of God, who authored the scripture, who gave us the Bible that we read today. So we ask him to inspire us to understand it divinely and also to bring into us conviction. Let your word convict us and make us to be loyal to you. Make us to submit to you, Lord, so that at the end we shall be people of the word. We shall be able to alloy with your word, form one mass, one being, one entity with your word. Let your word transform us because, Lord, your word is that which transforms the heart of man. So, Lord, tonight... 
we hand over ourselves to you. Let our our inadequacies, our weaknesses begin to go down. That your name, your power, your light will begin to be exalted tonight. Let everything about us begin to go down tonight. Let the flesh go down tonight. And let your majesty begin to be exalted tonight in the name of of jesus we pray with thanksgiving and we stand against every diabolical mission of the enemies against this message tonight every attack against this gospel father let the word of god the power that's in the word of god destroy such mandate of the wicked tonight in the name of jesus and so we invite the angels and the saints of god to come and be with us in this fellowship tonight in the name of jesus i pray that through today's message there shall be healing i declare this program tonight this message tonight a a miracle service for the house of jesus and mary ministries and i want to encourage us to invite our friends please do not fail to do that now that we have listened to the word of god i want to tell you the lord wants to minister to somebody tonight and uh, Tonight, the Lord wants us to present our case. And that is the message I have come to present this night. A very simple message. A message that is more of prayer. Because the Lord says, I want my people, like this Canaanite woman, you know, to bring their petitions, to bring their cry. It pleases the Lord to hear the cry of his children. I mean, cry is a sign that we cannot be able to solve our problems. Cry is a sign, you know, that we cannot be able to help our situation. It is a state of uh, weakness you know because the strong don't cry you know that so when we are crying it is it is um uh, it, it is our, our way of uh, disposing our ourselves that, look, I, we can't be able to help ourselves. Lord, we need you. And the Lord is looking for those who are crying, who are seeking his help, for he is our helper. Who else would help us? Who is our help if not the Lord? When he comes, he begins to shine his light upon his children. When he comes, he shields his children. When he comes, he begins to touch us in a special way so that we begin to be like him, decorated with his word, enlightened by his word. Oh, that reminds us, Psalm 84, verse 11. And you see the psalmist saying that the Lord is my son and is my shield. And there is no good thing that he withholds from those who put their trust in him. Rather, the Lord says that he will bring them from grace to the place of glory. And I pray that this night, may the Lord bring you to the place of glory in the name of Jesus. So this night, since the Lord is now telling us to come to him. Since the Lord is saying, come, let us settle this matter this night. Since the Lord is saying, I want to hear your petition. I want you to present this case to me. I want to hear your reason why I should bless you this night. Ah, this is what the Lord is saying tonight. I want to see the reason. I want to hear the reason why you should be blessed tonight. Why I am going to bless you tonight. This is what the Lord is looking into your eyes and saying tonight. Are you going not, are you not going to talk to him tonight? So I encourage you, lift up your voice right now and begin to bless him tonight. The Lord has already told us in Psalm 84, verse 11, that he is our son. Therefore, let the sun begin to shine. Let the sun shine in your life. Let the sun shine in your health. That every place of darkness, every government of darkness, dominion of darkness, let them begin to give way for the light of Christ to come right now in the name of Jesus. Where there is an iota of darkness in the family, let the power of the blood of Jesus begin to dispel them now, begin to destroy them right now in the name of Jesus. Keep talk to him. Keep talking to him now. Lift up your voice and talk to the Lord. Lift up your voice and talk to him. If you will talk to him, the Lord is not going to despise his own people in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, let the light shine. Let the light of God begin to shine upon you tonight. Are you crying to him? Are you crying to him? Present your case to the Lord. That is what the Lord is saying. This is not a time to sit down and just fold your arms and be looking at the screen. No way. This is a time to pray it out with the Lord. This is a time to hit the ground with the prayer. This is the time ah, to lift onto your voice unto the Lord and cry to him tonight and say, Lord, look at my wounds. Look at my brokenness. Look at my cry. Ah, the other day, we hear the psalm is saying that he he collected his tears in a bottle and he gave it as an offering to the Lord. He gave it to the Lord and the Lord saw the immensity of the tears of David that these tears had filled the bottle and the Lord was able to see even 
the, 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 the tears and he showed him great mercy and tonight it is your turn that as you bring your tears to the Lord the Lord is going to answer you tonight remember Exodus 3 verse 7 and the Bible said that when the people of Israel when the Lord saw the tears of his people in Egypt that the Lord showed mercy tonight the Lord is going to show mercy to somebody the Lord is going to show mercy to a family in the name of Jesus in that place you are struggling the Lord is going to show mercy in the name of Jesus or begin to talk to him tonight. Present your case. Present your case, brother. Present your case. If you were to meet Jesus this night, what would you tell him? Ah, if you were to meet him this night, this moment, what are you going to tell him? Put yourself in the shoes of the sorrow Phoenician woman. If you were that woman, you woke up in the morning, you didn't know that you were going to meet Jesus. It was like any other day, but behold, there was a news that filtered into her ears that do you know that Jesus is in town? And uh, can you imagine how excited that she was? And she left everything that she was to do that day. She canceled all the appointments and began to look for Jesus. And indeed, she was able to find Jesus where he was. For the Bible message is clear to us in Jeremiah 29, verse 13. Thou shalt seek me with all your heart and I will make myself available and you will find me. That is the word of God and I pray tonight if you like that sorrow Phoenician woman we seek the Lord this night with a cry with a brokenness, with tears, even with your submission, with your, with your voice, even with your prayer the Lord tonight is going to answer you the Lord tonight is going to visit you. The Lord tonight is going to turn things around. He is a story changer. He is a story changer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I leave you now to begin to talk to the Lord. Ask him to touch you. Ask him to visit you. In the name of Jesus. Are you talking to him now? Are you talking to him now? This is the king of glory that is here. Yes, my Lord. Is us. Pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now. Let somebody begin to talk to him tonight. Let somebody begin to lift your voice to the Lord tonight. The King of Glory is here. The God of heaven and earth is here. Yes, my Lord. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. The God of Glory is here. He is the God that answers the prayers of his people. He is the one who gives help to his own people. He is the God who defines himself in Exodus 6 verse 3 as Jesus. Jehovah Yahweh, as Jehovah Yahweh, as Yahweh himself. Oh, Jesus. In Exodus 3, verse 3, chapter 6, verse 3, and then the Bible said, I have revealed myself to your fathers, to Abraham, even to Jacob, even to Isaac. I have revealed myself to them as God Almighty. But to you, I want to reveal myself to you by my name, by my name. And he began to reveal himself to them. And he said, I am Yahweh. I am Jehovah. I am the I am. I am the one who causes all things to come into presence. Who causes, who speaks all things into existence. That is our mighty God. There's no problem that we go through. That God is not able by his word to speak unto that situation and it to turn around. Oh, Jesus, if the Lord will speak to a mountain, the mountain will begin to move. If the Lord will speak even to a rock, the rock will melt and become just a liquid. I mean, no matter the problem, the Lord will speak on to that problem just like a rock and it will turn into a liquid. Imagine what God told Moses, take your staff and uh, strike the rock and he obeyed and the rock from there come out a fountain of water. You see water gushing forth. That mighty God is here tonight. Maybe you are in your own wilderness. God is here tonight to locate you in that very wilderness tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. So we ask you tonight, talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Pour your heart to him. Talk to him. Today the night to talk to the Lord. Present your case. Present your case. Present your dilemma to the Lord. Talk to him. Talk to him. Our God is a gracious God. Our God is a mighty God. Our God is able to wipe your tears tonight. He is able to visit you tonight. He is able to make a way where there is no way tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Every plantation of the wicked in the family. Every plantation of sickness in the family. We are praying right now. Let those plantations of the enemies be uprooted tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted by the power in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. I minister divine protection for your family. I minister the grace of God upon your family. I minister the power of God upon your family. In the name of Jesus. 
talk to the Lord tonight. Ha, ah, what is the situation? Don't talk to man, talk to the Lord tonight. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. If you were the Sarah Phoenician woman, I tell you, you will do what she did. For she opened her lips the moment she saw Jesus and she began to cry to the Lord tonight. Oh, Jesus. Talk to him, talk to him. Let the Lord begin to depart from you. Depart your life. Every establishment of the wicked, let them be uprooted and be destroyed tonight. Let them be crushed tonight. Let them be crushed tonight. In the name of Jesus. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Pray with the word of God. Pray the word of God. Pray according to the word of God. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Pray that the word of God shall not depart from your mouth. Pray that the word of God shall be your command companion day in and day out that even when you are sleeping even when you are dreaming your the mouth of god the word of god shall be coming out from your mouth in the name of jesus yes my lord pray that the word of god shall be in your heart that your heart will begin to meditate upon the word of god so that that promise of god that instruction of god to joshua from the lips of, of moses shall be your own testimony tonight in the name of jesus for god spoke to pharaoh and say, Pharaoh, you must let my people go. This is the word of God concerning Pharaoh, concerning you, that Pharaoh may leave you, may, may be commanded, is under an, a compulsion to make you to be left this night, to stare and take away his hands from your enterprise. And so tonight, let the power and the hands of Pharaoh be arrested tonight, for the word of God has spoken in my favor, for the word of God has spoken in your favor, in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, even as we pray this night, even as we meditate on the word of God tonight. The word of God is going to move tonight to begin to melt all the satanic forces in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying tonight? Is us. There is no diabolical power of the enemy that will have their enclave in my heart. They will not have their domain in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, let our hearts begin to think things that are pure. Let our hearts be a habitation for the word of God. In the name of Jesus, let our hearts be able to absorb those things that are defying, those things that are pure, those things that are true, those things that are praiseworthy, those things that are admirable. And what are those things, if not the things that come from the chambers of God. And so we pray tonight that let the power of God begin to locate our hearts. Let our hearts be pure in the name of Jesus. Ask God to give you a pure heart. Let God give you a pure heart. Make my heart pure, O Lord. Take away the heart of stone and put into me, O Lord, the heart of love, the heart of grace, the heart of purity, the heart of chastity, the heart of charity in the name of Jesus. Are you making that prayer now? Talk to the Lord tonight. Aribo Shekete, the heart of honesty. The Bible says in Philippians chapter number 4, verse 8. No, oh, Jesus. Think those things that are pure. Think those things that are trustworthy. Think all those things that are admirable. Think all those things that are true. Those things that are honest. The Lord said, think about all of them. As far as they have virtue, may you think about all of them. As far as they have praise and they bring glory to God and praise to his own name. The Bible said, think about such things. So we pray this night, and according to the word of God of Philippians 4 verse 8, let the virtues of God begin to grow like mushrooms in my heart. In the name of Jesus, through this prayer, O oh Lord, give me the heart that lack your heart. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. If somebody pray now, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Ask God to take over your heart tonight. Ask God to take over your heart tonight. Tell him that many a time you want to do good, but something happens before you know what's happening. You are doing the opposite of what you want to do. As if there is another man in you. As if there is a program written and that program is now distracting you. That program is now making you not to do the thing that you know that to bring glory to God. Ah, this night we are crying to the Holy Spirit. Let him come and possess our being. Let him come and take his dominion in our hearts. Let our hearts become his habitation in the name of Jesus. Cry to him right now. Cry to him right now. If you will cry to him, the Holy Spirit will certainly come and take over our body, our hearts, our lives. For the Bible says, Riba, Ribo, Sherebo, Sekete, 
is us. First Corinthians 6 verse 19. Do you not know that your body is, is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit come into the temple tonight. Let him enter into our house tonight. Let him enter into the altar of God tonight. In the name of Jesus, let him fill our heart tonight. Let him give us a sound mind. Ask Holy Spirit to give you a sound mind. The mind that thinks of Christ. The mind that thinks of God. The mind that thinks of Holy the mind that thinks of virtue, the mind that thinks of righteousness. Every bashere will say, Pray now, pray now, pray now. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, take over my heart tonight. Yes, Lord. I want to be like Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me to be like Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Help me to love like Jesus. Give me the heart that loves like Jesus. Give me the heart that thinks like Jesus. Give me the ear that hears like Jesus. Give me the eye that sees like Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give me the lips that talk like Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Let graciousness come out from my lips. I want to represent Christ on earth. I want to be a true ambassador of Christ on earth in the name of Jesus. I don't want to be an ordinary person. I want to be a man of power. I want to be a man of fire. I want to be a man that's like Jesus. I want to be the image of Jesus on earth in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. I want to live my life like a co heir of Christ. Holy Spirit, help me. Help me, Holy Spirit. Help me to be like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Help me to think like him. Help me, Holy Spirit, to think those things that I defy him in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Take over my heart. Heart, oh Lord, take all my thoughts, oh Lord, take my thoughts captive in the name of Jesus. Help me, Holy Spirit, help me that I may be a man of authority in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Child of God, begin to pray, begin to pray. There is nothing that the Holy Spirit cannot do. In the name of Jesus, talk to him tonight. Talk to him tonight. Let the spirit of fear disappear. In the name of Jesus. Oh, by the way, the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, that God giveth not the spirit of fear, not the spirit of timidity, but the spirit of sound mind. Even as we are praying right now, cry to the Lord tonight to give you the spirit of boldness, the spirit of authority, the spirit of sound mind in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, don't to fear demons, but to honor God in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, is us is somebody praying tonight? Pray, 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 pray. Pray for the grace to resist the devil. The grace to resist the devil. The Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 7. And he says, Hey, Bashere Masekete. Yes, my Lord. Resist him, and he will flee from you. Uh, pray now, pray now. For the grace to resist the enemy. For the grace to resist the devil. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Our God is bigger than that problem. Our God is bigger than the principle and powers. Our God is bigger than the enemy. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says in Psalm 93 verse 4, that the Lord lifted on high is mightier than the voices of many rivers. Yes, my Lord, I don't know the voices of the Leviathans. I don't know the voices of the mighty oceans that are rising against you. Maybe all the Goliaths are rising against you. All the powers of the serpents are rising against you. But I know that if God is with you, you have the testimony at the end of the day. I I say you have testimony at the end of the day in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying right now? Present the case to the Lord, brother. Present the case to the Lord, sister. This is a night to present our cases now in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Talk to the Lord tonight. Talk to the Lord tonight. Don't get discouraged. Do not worry. The, Lord. the Bible says, do not worry. Do not fear. For I am your God. I am your God. I will hold you with my right hand of righteousness. Hey, my Carabosa. Isaiah 41 verse 10. And the Bible says, fear not. For I am with you. For I am your God. I am by your right hand. And I will hold you with my right hand of righteousness. Who is God talking to tonight? Ah, this is the person. The Lord is talking to the person that he's telling this night, present your case to the Lord. That is what the Lord is saying tonight. Are you presenting your case to the Lord tonight? In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. The Lord has given you authority. He has given you all power. The power to subdue the mountains. The power to subdue the powers of darkness. Begin to lift up your voice tonight. And by virtue of your prayer, let the altars of darkness begin to go down right now. In the name of Jesus. Let the schemes, the plans, the machinations of the wicked begin to go down. Because in the presence of the Lord, every anti-Holy Ghost spirit will begin to go down. Every anti-Godly spirit, they will begin 
begin to go down. The Bible tells us, even in the time of Dagon, the deity of the nation of the Philistines, when Dagon was boasting, and behold, the Ark of Covenant was brought into the shrine of Dagon, and the Bible says, by morning, the Dagon was able to collapse. Dagon began to fall. Dagon fell down before the God and began to worship our God. In the second night, Haribo Shekete, the power of God was able to slay to amputate, to cut into pieces, even the power of Dagon, even Dagon was thrown into pieces, even Dagon was cut, was cut into pieces. I said this night, my dear people of God, if you will bring God into that situation, the spirit that is in charge of that situation, the spirit that is sponsoring that situation, that spirit will bow down to God in the name of Jesus. I said that spirit shall bow down to God tonight, just like a Dagon bow down to God in the name of Jesus, in the presence of our God. Are Every darkness will bow down. Every pile of darkness will bow down. Even the devil himself will bow down. Dagon will bow down. Leviathan will bow down in the name of Jesus. And so tonight, I don't know what you want to bring to the place of God tonight. Maybe there's a secret that is tormenting you. Bring them to the presence of God. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service that God is here tonight to do signs and wonders for you in the name of Jesus. Bring that situation to the Lord tonight. If you will bring that situation to the Lord, the situation will be able to bow down to the Lord. They can Answer will bow down to the Lord because our God is the mightier than our problem. Our God is the mightier than the dragons. Our God is the mightier than the than the tentacles of the enemies in the name of Jesus. Our God is the mighty and the octopus that have risen against us. That, that spirit, that deity, that is eight-headed, that eight-headed spirit, the Lord is the mighty than them. That hundred-headed spirit, our Lord is mighty than them in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, Jesus. John chapter 3, verse 13. And the John the party says, and the one mighty than I is coming. The one mighty than I has come. And that one that is the mighty Better than I. That one, ah, I say, pray, 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 pray. Call on him, call on him. The mighty God of Israel is here. The God of heaven and earth is here. In the name of Jesus, we are serving a living God. I say, call on him, eh? Call on his name, call on his name. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, in Act the Father 12, there is no other name given unto man for his salvation, but this name Jesus. That is the name that has brought us together. That is the name that fills us with the word of God. That is the mighty name, whatever that name is. The saints we gather. Whatever place that name is, the light of God is there. My dear people of God, the Bible says that where the word of God is, where the body is, there the eagles shall gather. In the name of Jesus, indeed the word of God is here. Indeed the Jesus is here. The eternal word is here. The incarnate word is here. And therefore the eagles have gathered. Even the saints of God have gathered. For he is the king of glory. In the name of Jesus. Call on his name. Call on his name. As you are calling on his name. Let every hand of darkness. Every grip of darkness. Every clinch of darkness. Let them be broken tonight. Let their enterprise be broken tonight. Let the authority be broken tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Let there be change of government tonight. Pray, 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 pray. This is a night of intercession. A night to present the case. A night to present our cases in the name of Jesus. I say present your case, brother, in the name of Jesus. Don't you have a case to present? Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. He's all. Jesus, cry to him, cry to him. He is a mighty God. He is a God of power. He is a God of fire. In Jeremiah 23, verse 29, and the Lord begin to say, Is my word not like a fire? Is my word not like a hammer? Even as you are praying the word of God, you are releasing the fire of God against the chambers of the wicked, against the territories of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, as you begin to pray now, set the kingdoms of fire, the kingdoms of the enemy on fire as you begin to pray now let the word of God become the hammer to smash the enemies into pieces to smash the rocks into pieces to smash the pebbles into pieces in the name of Jesus I say begin to pound the ground pound the ground like King Jehoshaphat pound the ground pound the ground like King Joash pound the ground now with your arrow of prayer in the name of Jesus as you keep pounding the ground with your arrow of prayer one day and soon it shall be called the arrow of victory soon it shall be called the arrow of victory in the name of Jesus Jesus. 
Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. I say, don't give up in prayer. I say, don't give up in prayer. Let God hear your prayer tonight. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, the mighty God is here. The mighty God is here. As we are praying the word of God tonight, every witch, every wizard, we are doing in them tonight. We break their wings tonight. In the name of Jesus. We cancel their interpret tonight. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, every cause passed down to our life. We cancel them tonight by the power in the word of God. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody pray now? Yes, Lord. Lift up your voice and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Begin to bless yourself now. Bless your generations now. Bless your children now. Who will bless your children if not you? Lift up your voice and bless them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Makasakata. Lift up your voice and pray. Let the power of the blood of Jesus be upon our children now. In the name of Jesus. Let there be generational blessings upon our children tonight. In the name of Jesus. The blessings of Abraham rest upon our children. In the name of Jesus, open our children, children, open our children, 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 children. In the name of Jesus, you can continue it now. You can continue like a divine factorial. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Is somebody praying tonight? Pray, 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 pray. The power of God is here tonight. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Is somebody praying now? Lift up your voice and pray. Pray according to Ephesians 6 and verse. 12 and follow him. And then the Bible begins to talk to us to wear the full armor of God. Wear the full armor of God in the name of Jesus. I wear the helmet of salvation tonight. Ma Carabosa is somebody praying now. We pray, 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 pray. Let the Lord wear you up tonight. Let the Lord decorate you tonight. Let the Lord clothe you with the garment of fire, with the garment of the generals. God is one, God wants to arm his people. He wants to make somebody a general. He wants to decorate somebody as a general. Somebody is going to receive a fast star general. A five star general is in the making tonight. The Lord is here tonight to commission somebody as a five star general. A five star general in prayer. A five star general in prayer. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, if you are that person, then lift up your voice and pray and add the Lord tonight. Let him wear the helmet of salvation in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Let him wear the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. Not a partial armor of God, but a whole armor of God. Ask God to wear you, to decorate you like a general, like a soldier of Christ in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Is us enough of that civilian life? Enough of living my life as a civilian? I am tired of living like a civilian. Jesus never lived his life like a civilian. He lived like life as a general, like like the like the heavenly power. He lived his life on uh, even on earth as the commander. He will command even the gravity, and the gravity will be suspended. He will speak unto the water, and the water will allow him to walk on the sea. What a mighty God will serve! That is how a general behaves. A general will have authority. Oh, Jesus, there is authority in the word of God. And say, tonight, let the word of God rest on you and make you a divine general. In the name of Jesus, Yes, my Lord. Ask him to wear you the breastplate of righteousness in the name of Jesus. Are you praying right now? Ask him to wear you, to wear you the breastplate of righteousness in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, ask him to wear you the shoes, the shoes of glory, the shoes of eternity, the shoes of power, the shoes of dominion in the name of Jesus. Is somebody pray now? I say lift up your voice and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Present your case to the Lord. Present your case to the Lord. Is us. Ask him to prepare you for the second coming of the Lord. Ask him to prepare you to live your life as a wise virgin of Matthew chapter 25 verse 1 to 13. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Is us. Is somebody praying now? I say pray, 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 pray. Let the Lord visit you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Ask him to wear you the Gospel of peace in the name of Jesus. Ask him to wear you the gospel of peace, the belt of glory in the name of Jesus, the sword of the spirit. Ask him to give you the sword of the spirit in the name of Jesus. 
Yes, Lord. Pray, 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 pray. I say, don't give up, brother. I say, don't give up, sister. In the name of Jesus, the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Let God wear you the sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit. Take the sword of the spirit. As you are praying with the word of God, you are speaking sword of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. As you are praying, may God be with you. As you are praying, may the Lord begin to fight your battles in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every evil spirit around our territory, around our family, frustrating our enterprise, frustrating our career, by the power in the name of Jesus, we rebuke such spirits right now. We command them to begin to go down. We call them with our sword of fire. We call them with the sword of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. If somebody pray right now, vibrate in prayer, vibrate in prayer. I say, don't give up. This is the night of intercession. I say, don't give up this is a night to cry to lord i said don't give up this is a night to present our cases our cases to the lord and the lord will hear his people the lord shall hear his people in the name of jesus yes my lord are you talking to lord now are you talking to lord now lift up your voice and pray lift up your voice and pray pray according to jeremiah chapter number 30 verse 17 in the name of jesus and there the bible promises us in jeremiah 30 verse 17 i will restore your health i will restore your health i will restore your health this is god talking to somebody. This is the mighty God, the God of Ezra 15 verse 26, who introduces himself to us as Jehovah Rapha who healed our diseases. Now he's telling you tonight in Jeremiah 30 verse 17 that he's going to restore your health. He's going to restore your dilapidated health in the name of Jesus. Your broken health, your broken bones, he's going to restore it now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Pray that you shall have the healing power of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody pray now? Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Let the sick be healed tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus. Pray now, pray now, pray now. The Lord is talking to someone tonight. There is a miracle at this hour. A miracle that is rooted on Jeremiah 30 verse 17. For the Lord says, I will restore your health in the name of Jesus. I will bandage your wounds. I will bandage your wounds. Is there somebody tonight who had this message? Is there somebody tonight who is carrying some wounds tonight? Is there somebody tonight who have been wounded, wounded, wounded by close relatives, wounded by your brothers and sisters, wounded? Hold him and share him and say, is us wounded by those who are supposed to love you, by those who are supposed to protect you. They have betrayed you. But tonight, even as we begin to pray, may the God of heaven and earth let him heal your wounds tonight. Let him bandage your wound tonight. In the name of Jesus, with his balm of Gilead, may he heal you tonight. Pray, 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 pray. I pray, 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 pray. pray. If somebody pray now, lift up your voice and pray. Whatever is the heart you are carrying, there is a time for healing now. In the name of Jesus, whatever Whatever the wound you are carrying, that is a healing time now in the name of Jesus. Whatever the wounds, whatever the scars, the Lord is able to heal in the name of Jesus. Whatever is the pain, the Lord is able to turn that pain into a gain in the name of Jesus. If somebody pray now, the season of restoration is now in the name of Jesus. The water of Bethesda is being turned around now. An angel is turning now. An angel is turning the water of Bethesda so that somebody shall enter and get healed now. This is your season of healing. This is a climate of healing. This is a, a weather of healing in the name of Jesus. I say pray, 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 pray. I say receive the healing now in the name of Jesus. It's all. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Our mighty God is here. Even in Isaiah 53 verse 5, He promises us that He is God who heals. That He is the God by His wounds who are healed. By His wounds who are healed. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. By his stripe, by his stripe, we are healed tonight. Somebody is healed tonight by the power and the word of God, by the power and the wound of Christ, by the power in the in the nature of Christ. Let that healing power locate you tonight. Locate you tonight. Locate you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Our God is here tonight. Our God is here tonight. He's here tonight to visit somebody. He's here tonight to bless you. 
In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. I say don't give up. I say don't give up. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 46 verse 1. And there the Bible says, The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my strength. An ever-present help in the time of need. Psalm 46 verse 1 and 2. The Lord defines himself to us as ever-present help in the time of need. Yes, Lord. Meaning that every time he is always there, present. He is always there in the time of trouble. He is not only in the time of calamity. He is also in the time of blessings. The Lord is there. So we are serving a mighty God. And we have every reason to thank him for his mercy. For his grace. Ha, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that even this night you are lifting barriers. Yes, you are taking your people to the next dispensation in their lives. Thank you that you are taking all to the next level. And every barrier that is prohibiting this ascension, Father, we know that you are breaking them down by the power of your presence, by the power of your word. So, Father, we thank you. Thank you, mighty God. Begin to thank him. Appreciate him. What a mighty God we serve. All the spirits that have been terrorizing us, the Lord is now terrorizing them. The Lord is now frustrating them. What a mighty God tonight. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you because you have shown us that you are our God. Thank you for bringing confusion to the kingdom of darkness. Thank you, Father, for you have blinded the wicked tonight. Blessed be your holy name. Mighty God, we thank you. Mighty God, we worship you. Praise him tonight. Praise him tonight. What a mighty God. Pray for a long life. Pray for a long life. Ah, pray for a long life. Oh, Jesus. The Bible promises so that, uh, that I will give them a long life. That is the promise of God for someone tonight. I will give them long life. I will say to them long life. In the name of Jesus, I pray this night that the grace of God will come upon you. Look at what God did for Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 7. And the Bible says that Moses died at the age of 120 years. And even at that age that the Lord gave him strong eyes. Eyes like that of a baby. Very strong eyes and with a vitality that never diminished. What a mighty grace of God. I pray this night may God give you strength. May God give you long life in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. May he help you to, to, to even get old gracefully in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Ma Karabosa, are you talking to him tonight? Pray that God will give you grace to defeat every altar of darkness against you. That God shall give you the grace to defeat all the walls of Jericho set up against you. That Lord shall help you to defeat all the mountains that are lined up against you. We command them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let them begin to melt. Let them begin to, bring, to be brought down because our God is like a bulldozer. He is a mighty than a bulldozer. No mountain can stand before him. No mountain can limit him. When our God is moving, the earth is quaking. When our God is moving, even the mountains are shaking and the mountains will bow. The mountains will melt in the presence of our Lord. So I pray tonight for divine security. I pray this night for divine protection. In the name of Jesus, may God be with you. I say may God be with you, brother. In the name of Jesus, may the strong hand of God be with you. May he fortify you. May he magnify your blessings tonight. Pray that God shall magnify your blessings. May God magnify your grace. May God magnify your glory in the name of Jesus. Are you talking to him tonight? Yes, Lord. Ask him to magnify you. Ask him to magnify to enlarge your coast. Ask him to enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. There are big blessings that are coming and they, they have to be contained not in a small place, not in a small containment, but in a spacious place. But you begin to pray now that the Lord shall give you a spacious space so that you shall be able to have a space to contain the blessings that are coming in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, are you praying right now? Ask him to increase your spiritual space in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 118 verse 5, Yes, Lord, when the enemy is 
pressed against me. They, I cried to the Lord, and the Lord enlarged my space, and the Lord increased my space. The Lord increased my space. Have you cried to the Lord like the psalmist? In Psalm 118, verse 5, the psalmist says, The enemies came around me, and they pressed down upon me. They encompassed me. They pressed very hard upon me. Ah, they were choking me. But when I cried to the Lord, the Lord heard me, and the Lord came, and the Lord enlarged my space. The Lord increased my space. Yes, my Lord, are you going to pray now? According to Psalm 118, verse 5, add the Lord to increase your space. Add the Lord to enlarge your space. In the name of Jesus, let him enlarge the space of somebody's womb tonight, so that somebody shall conceive triplets. In the name of Jesus, we have heard such testimonies in this ministry, and we are still serving such a living God for who he is, he has always been. Our God has never changed. In Hebrew 13, verse 8, and the Bible says that our God is same yesterday, today, and forever. Our God has never changed. Yes, my Lord. Is ours. Let that God of Jacob locate you tonight. Let the Jehovah Yahweh locate you tonight. Let him visit you tonight. Are you crying to him tonight? The God of Moses is here. Let him bring power upon you in the name of Jesus. Let him help you to stand strong. Ask him to help you to stand strong in the name of Jesus. Makarabo Sekete. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. The power of God is moving now. I said the power of God. Is moving now. Let him locate you in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. According to Third John chapter 2, and the Bible says in verse 1 and 2, Yes, Lord, let the Lord bless you. Let the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, let him make your soul to prosper in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, may you prosper in good health. May you prosper in favor. May your soul prosper in the name of Jesus. Be in good health in the name of Jesus. Prosper in good health. Be in good health. Even as your soul prospered, may you prosper in space. May you prosper in, in, in virtues of God in the name of Jesus. May you prosper in the authority of God. May you prosper in the word of God in the name of Jesus. Jesus. May you prosper right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. May you prosper even in the joy of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. The Bible says in Romans 14 verse 17 that the kingdom of God is not of eating and drinking, but of joy in the Holy Ghost. Let that joy in the Holy Ghost come upon somebody now so that nothing shall take away your joy, so that nothing shall take away our joy in the name of Jesus. Present your case to the Lord, brother, in the name of Jesus. I say present your case. Let someone present your case in the name of Jesus. Whatever thing that you are going through, present your case tonight. Present it to the Lord. Present to the Lord. For the Lord is able to answer you tonight. Is us. Let us hang upon his word. For the Bible says, Reba Karabosa, he looked at the 19 verse 48, and the Bible says, they hung upon his word. They hung upon his word. Ah, I like that so much. They hung upon the word of God. This night, we hang upon the word of God. As we hang upon his word, we cannot be shaken. As we hang upon the word of God, we are healed. Because in Psalm 107 verse 20, he spoke his word and they were healed. I said tonight, as to hang upon the word of God, we shall not be destroyed. We shall prosper. You shall, shall be well with us in the name of Jesus. As to hang upon the word of God, we are established tonight in the name of Jesus. Are you praying tonight? Lift up your voice and pray. Yes, Lord, lift up your voice and pray. Let God visit you tonight. Let God bless you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying tonight? Is somebody crying to the Lord tonight? Ask the Lord to come to defend you. Ask God to rise up for you. Ask the Lord to rise up for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. I say vibrate in prayer. Vibrate in prayer. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can change the frequency of that prayer, brother. You can change the Amplitude of that prayer in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray now, pray now, pray now. The water shall not drown me. The water shall not drown me in the name of Jesus. The fire shall not burn me. The fire shall not scorch me. The sun shall not scorch me. The moon shall not scorch me in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. 
is ours. These are according to the promise of God for us in Psalm 91. And that is where we anchor tonight by the power in the authority of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. The enemy cannot use me for the experiments in the name of Jesus. For I am hidden with the Christ in God. According to Colossians 3 verse 3, in the name of Jesus, is somebody pray now. I say, present your case to the Lord in the name of Jesus. This is not to present your case. Present your case. Don't get tired. If you present your case to the Lord, the walls of Jericho shall fall. If you present your care to the Lord, the Lord will lift up the banner of victory over your family and the witches and wizards shall fall in the name of Jesus. If you will cry to the Lord, the Lord shall break the rust of the wicked against our families. For the Bible says, Psalm 1, 2, 5, 3, Yes, my Lord, Jesus, the rod of the wicked shall not be found in the house of the righteous. And so tonight, every rod of the wicked in the family, rod of affliction in the family, rod of the evil deity in the family, let them be broken tonight. Let them be broken tonight. Let them be broken tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. The rod of economic recession. Let them be broken tonight. By the power that in the name of Jesus. Let them be broken tonight. Are you breaking them now? The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 14 verse 5. That the yoke of the wicked. The scepter of the wicked is broken. The rod of the wicked is broken. Let it be broken tonight. The rod of the wicked. The scepter of the wicked. Pray, 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 pray. Let them be broken. Let them be broken now. In the name of Jesus. I say pray, 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 pray. Vibrating prayer. Vibrating prayer. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, let the rod of the wicked begin to melt because in the presence of the Lord, even the rod of the wicked must be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. I said they must be broken tonight. Let them be defeated tonight in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. I said don't give up. I said don't give up for our God is here in the name of Jesus. May the Lord satisfy you tonight. May the Lord show you mercy tonight. May the Lord show us mercy tonight in the name of Jesus. Is all pray, 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 pray. The Lord will not forget his people. The Lord will show mercy tonight. The Lord will visit his people tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. According to Psalm 1 1 ever 17, I will not die. I will not die, but I will live and declare and proclaim the goodness of the Lord in the house of the righteous. Live back, Carabosa. Lift up your voice and declare. Yes, my Lord. You shall live. You shall live. I will live. In the name of Jesus, I will not die. I will live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, declare it tonight. For who shall declare for you? When you have your lips, what are you doing with your lips? When you have your mouth, what are you doing with your mouth? Open your mouth and declare tonight that you shall not die. Your business shall not die. Your children shall not die. In the name of Jesus, they shall not die premature. We shall not die premature. Our business shall not die premature. In the name of Jesus, yes, my Lord. No herald, no herald will kill me. The herald the other day took a sword and began to slaughter some innocent boys and began to kill them. But I will not end up in the hand of the herald. I will not end up in the hand of heralds. In the name of Jesus, yes, my Lord. Is us pray, 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 pray. The modern day herald, the spirit of herald that is in our air today, I will not be their victim in the name of Jesus. My children shall not end up in the sword of the herald in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. I will not die, I will not die prematurely. By the time I'm leaving this world, I will live at a ripe age, I will live at the time that heaven wants me to depart, I will live at the time that God wants me to go. Not the time the enemy wants me to go. I will not die prematurely. It declares for your life, my friend. In the name of Jesus. I say, sister. I say, brother. Present that care tonight. Are you sick right now? The essence of the enemy bringing that sickness to your life is not for you to feel weak. It's not for you to feel pain. That is not his agenda. His agenda is to kill. His agenda is to destroy. That is what the Bible says. In John 10, verse 10, the enemy come to kill, the enemy come to take away, the enemy come to steal. Haribo Sherema, but I have come to give you life. This is Jesus talking to somebody. Jesus is that I. He has come to give you life. In the name of Jesus, Liba Karabosa, every plan of the enemy to kill my destiny, to kill my life, that is canceled tonight. That will not happen tonight. They cannot steal my glory. They cannot steal my finances. In the name of Jesus, all my blessings 
blessing that are in the hands of the enemies. I recover them now. I recover them now. I recover them now. In the name of Jesus, I recover my children now from the hands of the wicked. I recover my finances now. I recover my anointing now from the hands of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, yes, my Lord, I recall my stamina for prayer. In the name of Jesus, whatever thing that belong to me that the enemies are taking captive, I recover them tonight. In the name of Jesus, I recover them tonight. In the name of Jesus, if somebody pray now, they cannot kill me. They cannot stop me. I am unkillable. I am not. They cannot kill me. In the name of Jesus. They cannot defeat me. They cannot stop me. I am unstoppable. In the name of Jesus. They cannot sink me. I cannot go down. I cannot go down. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my carabo secretary. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord now. Begin to appreciate him. For our God is a mighty God. Lift up your voice and thank him. Lift up your voice and thank him. For we serve a living God. We serve a God of heaven and earth. Lay back, Mashe. Father, we thank you. Thank you for what you have done tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We cover this in prayer with the blood of Jesus. Blessed be your name. We cover our the, the testimonies we have received tonight with the most precious blood of Jesus. I will decree that no bat, no evil bird shall come into our territory. Our territory is covered with the blood of Jesus. Our neighborhood is covered with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No agent of darkness shall fly over our spiritual space. They cannot even fly over or into our, our spiritual space. Even in the dream, they can't come in because we are shielded with the word of God of Job 1 verse 10, the hedge of protection. May that hedge of protection encapsulate us and keep us one in the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My dear friends in Christ, God bless you tonight. And may the Lord who has settled tomorrow tonight be honored forever. To him be all the glory. In Jesus' gracious name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My dear friends in Christ, what a great night. I want to encourage us to make sure you share this message and like it and uh, try to promote your ministry. And God will bless you as you do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I also want to um, announce that tomorrow's prayer point, tomorrow we are going to read Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30. That is our reading tomorrow. Jeremiah chapter 30. Our prayer assignment is pray and ask God to speak to you with the Jeremiah chapter 30. Now, take note that in verse 17, there the Bible promises us and saying, I will restore your health. I will restore your health. So if you are sick, then you pray for restoration tomorrow. So God has used this sermon, this message of this night as a miracle a service. And that miracle service has not come to an end. It continues even when you are meditating on Jeremiah 30 verse 7. Tap into the promise of God in that scripture and it shall be well with you. And make sure you give your testimonies so that we shall be able to testify indeed that our God is a healer and uh, the one who takes away the reproach of his people. Remember Joshua 5 verse 9 and how we roll away the, the, the reproach of Egypt from my people. And the Lord is doing it today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. May God bless us. And may God strengthen us. In Jesus' gracious name. Amen. The grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Now, tomorrow's prayer point is this. It's going to be a very unique prayer point. Call somebody in this ministry and pray with that person. Usually when I make this announcement, people begin to flood uh, my phone with calls as if I'm the only person who is a member of this ministry. So yes, I'm a member of the ministry, but I am not the only one here. So please call. If I'm asking, I'll even call somebody too to pray for me. Okay? So how about this? Let's let's put it this way that we shall not call brother. Brother will be the one to call any person to pray for him. Okay? <laughs> so you call somebody and pray for that person. And God bless you as you do this. And the way you pray for that person, that person will also pray for you. So whoever you call, you shall exchange uh, prayer uh, exchange. Okay? God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely his goodness and mercy follow us 
all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever and ever and ever and ever amen and amen please don't forget present your case to the lord and share the message with your friends and tell them present your case to the lord and when they tell you the testimonies that have come out of the prayer make sure you give them the uh, testimony uh, in prayer information uh, so that they can be able to come and give their testimonies because we want to see what God has done. Blessed be his name. Amen. God bless you and see you tomorrow, same time, same channel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you and God bless you. Amen.